Welcome to GenX eSolution. In today's video lesson, we are going to learn how to manage the admin module in our mid office system. In our mid office system, we give you the access to admin where you got the access to manage company details, manage branch details, manage staff, manage supplier feed, manage auto charges, manage car charges, sales rule manage roles and manage CMS. We'll go through the each module one by one. In the manage company section, we are going to update our company details as in company name, address, country, city, postcode, website, phone number, mobile number, fax number, email address. We could also upload our company logo from this section wherein we could choose the file from the system and we can upload it. Once the details are updated, it will be shown across in the mid office system as well as on your sales module. The next section is for the registration detail. In the registration detail, we can update our service tax number, PAN number, TAN number, VAT number, GST number and we can update it. After updating our company detail, the next module which we are going to manage from the admin section is manage branches. As a company, we, are, we can have many branches as in like one branch which is going to be automatically created in the mid office system that is going to be your main branch. And if you have any parallel branch or any additional branch, you can update the details from here by selecting add new branch. Once we select add new branch, we are going to get this form where we are going to update our branch name like for example we have got our main branch in new delhi and we want to update the branch another branch detail which is in chandigarh so we are going to name the branch as in chandigarh branch the branch code which we want to give the complete address of it the emergency contact number city name country postcode phone number fax number email address vat number if we are having a separate logo for that branch we can upload the logo from here for that we have to select as in show branch logo along with that we could also take a business decision that if we want all of our branches to have some markup on their sales so we can manage it from the sales rule otherwise if we select the show net fare automatically whatever our base fare base rates are coming for the services they will get the same rates. The next section is to select whether it is a partner branch or not. Once the data is updated in this segment in this form, you can simply save it and close it. Automatically that branch will be updated and it will show on the this section which will be showing as a main branch and the other branch. The next segment in the admin module is for manage staff. Before that, we will also help you to make manage roles. In the manage roles section, as in we could, un uh, we also know this that we have got many staff members who are going to work in our organization. So first, we are going to create the roles for each and every individual. So first, uh, we are going to create a role. All the active roles will be shown across on the dashboard in this section the name of the role and the description of it. If we want to add a new role, we are going to click on this section as an add new. And once we select add new, there is a form which will be updated, which will get open. We are going to give the name of the role, the description of the role and whatever the rights we want to give it from the back office to that individual. We could select that from the admin section, sub agent management, client management, supplier management, booking management, MIS reports and product report and financial modules as well as from the charter module section. Once all the rights have been selected, we could just simply click on update and or save. So the role would be created and automatically it will show on the dashboard. Once the role is created, we can go again to the admin section where we are going to select manage staff and then we are going to create the staff IDs. For example, we have a staff which is working on the ticketing. We have got one staff which is working for the hotels. One is an account. 
team or account member so we can create various stuff for them the genx mid office system gives you the access to that in order to create a new stuff we can select add new stuff and we are going to update all the information about that stuff that is first name last name username address password city name country postcode phone number mobile number email address which branch he, uh, he or she the individual is associated with what is the role we want to give it we can select from the drop down option which we have just created a few seconds back whether it's an admin or a customer care manager then this section valid login ip if we want our staff to work only from the office so we can select the ip we could enter the ip address over here so system will not allow the user to use the back office or the mid office system from any other location other than the office if we wish we can also upload the photo of the individual we need to make the status as an active and select allow booking and then save it once the data is saved the user will be created for the mid office system all the active staff members will be shown across on the dashboard after manage staff we got a segment wherein we are going to work on manage supplier feed in the manage supplier feed as we are all are aware we are going to work with various suppliers so we can control the supplier feed from the mid office from the manage supplier feed section for the flights all the active suppliers would be shown across over here the name of the supplier like for example you could see tbo and charter the sales module will be shown on the top menu as in b2c that stands for our direct client site that is for the b2c site bodc that is for the back office direct customer b2b that is for our agent sub agents bosa that is for back office sub agent so whatever the feed we are going to select or deselect automatically system will accept it if you deselect tbo for the b2c so the feed which is coming for the flight for the tbo for the b2c will not be shown across it will be only showing the charter feed same goes with our bodc b2b and bosa similar fashion in the similar manner we can manage for the hotels all the active suppliers will be shown over here and the channels for which it is active for in this way we are going to manage our supplier feed after that there is a segment called auto charges we all are aware that there are certain like organization takes a decision that there are some auto charges should get applicable on the bookings for example like the booking charges or any other charges so we can manage all type of auto charges from this segment all the active auto charges will be shown across on the dashboard in order to add a new auto charge we are going to select auto charge and this window will get open we can give the code for the charge whatever the code we want to name it as the description of it for which country it is applicable for which city is applicable once the country is selected you can select from the city is it applicable for all branch or for some particular branch we want we can also select for the airlines wise for which channel we want to show it for we can select it we can choose if we want to put an auto charges for a set of agents we can select from the group or we can select a particular agent we could also select services wise we could see what is the charge type is it a fix or a percentage is it for the domestic or for the international is the charge applicable for per passenger on checkout or on net price or on markup or is it deducted once it is saved you can simply submit it and the auto charge will get created on the account once the auto charge is created the next section which we are going to manage that is manage card charges manage card charges is basically works for the people who are having the payment gateway so once the payment gateway is active for your account you can manage up the card charges from this section in this section we can set it up like for a credit card or a debit card or for net banking or any other module or the way the customer is making a payment to us we can set the amount of charges that should get applicable while doing an online transaction once it is updated we are going to check 
for the next module which is a sales rule sales sales rule is one of the important section from the mid office system because in this way we are going to manage our markup or a discount whatever we want to give it to our end customer be it it's an agent or a direct customer all the active sales rule will be shown across over here as you could see that one rule uh, one rule has been created it is applicable for which channel which service it is applicable for which supplier it is active for and what is is it commissionable or it is uh, there is a markup which is applicable you could see there is a 10% markup which is applicable on the total fare and the priority for the rule is number 1 if we want to select a new if you want to add up a new sales rule you can simply add on add new sales rule and you can update the information for example flight test rule select the service as in flight then again from the channel we can select for which channel we want to select this role to be applicable to for which supplier it is applicable we can update the information as an in origin destination airlines if we want to add booking date for which period to which period it is applicable for travel date booking class cabin class trip type packs type and we could also manage is it applicable for our b2b module as in for a particular agent it is or a group of agent if we select agent the active agents will be shown over here if we select a group of it so the group which has been created you could see it will be shown across over here whether it is commissionable or on the net fare there is a markup we want to add we are going to enter the value in this section we can select whether it's a fixed amount or a percentage of it is it the net fare on the markup is on base fare base fare plus yq net fare or total fare then we can set a priority and submit the rule once it is submitted automatically system will save that rule and it will shown across on the dashboard after sales rule we have got the segment of manage cms cms is basically the content management system whatever the content we want to show across to our end customer be it for our b2b agents or for our end customer we could update the complete details over here from this manage cms section be it for it is for the terms and condition or for the privacy policy or any declaration we want to make and it could be controlled from this section it could be managed from this section whether it is on the control or on the page of the website we are going to select the website for which website it is applicable for then for which control it is is it for the landing page hotel search transfer sightseeing login and all the controls you can manage from here is it on going to be on the parent home page so once it is selected you could see you can select the parent control you can give the title to it request url meta keywords request uh, url meta description and the content which you want to show it over here you can enter it you can upload the image and you can simply save it once it is updated it will show across the in the dashboard and you can see what are the active content which is there on the site so this is a complete admin module in the next video we are going to learn how we are going to manage the bookings section thank you for your precious time